I think I did this already. I'm definitely not doing this one on R4, though. I'm going to make it R3 or something. It's not that I can't. It's just too much work. Right? It's, like, just way too much work. It's way too sweaty. I rested for the night here when I first arrived. I see the hobgoblins it's probably even this, because those last two bosses can hit really hard. So probably even this is like a stretch. But we'll see. Hopefully we get lucky with the RNG and we don't get any crazy rebirths. Okay, dude, go ahead, get the traps. Alright, give me my trance. And the damage looks really good. For level 13. I don't have knockdown immunity, so I have to be careful. I just got knocked down. So I've played this game long enough to know the stupid shit that'll kill me. If I die during hardcore, it's because I got knocked down. So most of the time, all of my builds focus on making me immune to stuff that will just flat out kill me. Because I just don't want to be bothered by... That sort of stuff, right? So, like, I love negative energy immunity. I love knockdown immunity. I love fear immunity. Magic missile immunity. I usually grab that as early as I can get it. I mean, every hardcore league, there's some dude who dies to magic missile. Like, in, you know, it's just so easy to not die to magic missile. Oh, that dude is getting tripped. There you go. And PK'd. That's what you get for throwing a comet at me, bro. He thought he was Thanos for a second. Alright, I'm diseased. Those orcs gave me some kind of disease. I don't know what kind of disease. Like, orc herpes or something? Don't want to know. That dude tripped me. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'm gonna trip him back. Alright, I didn't trip him back, but I'll color spray him. I mean, if you think about that from his perspective, he's frozen, he's blinded, he's deafened. Right? Like, he just had a really bad day. And then I gave him a nightmare. Come on, give me a big heal. There we go. And we're going to color spray the whole hallway. Okay, speed boost, dragon roar. I'm just gonna try to like Cuisinart all these things. So we're getting really close. Like, um, I believe the Diablo 4 season 4 starts on the 15th. So, like I've said a few times, I'm going to play it. I'm going to do my minion build Necromancer, and we're gonna see if they actually fix the game. And saved it, or if the game is still trash. I mean, it, it's it's a pretty game, but it's not, in my opinion, it's not worth playing just because of the way it plays. But supposedly they fixed a lot of the stuff that made it really ridiculous. And 
we'll see. Um, Last Epoch was really cool, and apparently they took a lot of uh, inspiration from Last Epoch. Um, the other is uh, Path of Exile, it has a lot of cool stuff that apparently Blizzard implemented into Diablo 4, so we'll see. But many people have said this is Diablo 4's last chance, so we'll see if it actually is true and, it's, and they fixed it. And if not, who cares, I'll uninstall it. I figure I'll try it for a few days and see if it's fun. We'll know right away, right? Like, we'll know right away because I will get to a boss and um, if I can't kill the boss and the necromancer, that was the problem. Like, the necromancer was great for dealing with trash and just awful for killing bosses. So, I am out of heal scrolls. Talk about disaster. Completely out of heal scrolls. It's so dumb. Color spray. Yeah, it would be nice if in DDO, um, when you do a Pale Master, if they allowed you to spec into a minion build, rather than having the one skeleton, you could actually like summon like three or four skeletons to follow you around that were maybe, you know, like um, a percentage weaker than the, just the one skeleton. I think that would be really cool. Yes, thank you for the follow. Um, I think, too, that having the ability on a Necromancer to, like, just have your minions do, like, all of the DPS while you hang back, I think that's why a lot of people want to play, like, a Necromancer minion build. And in DDO, you can do a Pale Master with your Skeleton, but the Skeleton really is sort of dumb. And not that strong, so well it can do a little, but it's you still have to sort of do stuff. So it would be nice if they made it where a minion build was possible in DDO. Matter of fact, I've had friends of mine say that's one of the things that they were upset about. Like they came to DDO wanting to play a necromancer, and they could only get one skeleton. They didn't understand why they couldn't have like you know, four or five skeletons following them around. So it is a good point. I keep hoping they'll give us player housing. I think I talk about that, though, every time I play. It does, just doesn't make any sense, because they've had player housing in Lord of the Rings Online since they made that game. Like, player housing has been part of that game since the beginning. And they just never thought to do that here, which I don't understand, because it's part of the lore of Dungeons & Dragons. Like... I think in the original rules, you could qualify to get a stronghold at level 10. I think like a warrior could make a keep and a wizard could make a tower. You could, um, you could fill it with hirelings and NPCs. Um, the cleric could do a temple. And I think a rogue could do like a thieves guild or something like that. be really cool it's um, something that i'm also surprised that we don't have uh like a thieves skill that you can join as a rogue that'd be really cool his buddy didn't see me hello dude okay sorry about the trip
Okay, there's a champion. He was immune, but he's dead. Uh, the name... Oh, there's a Fear Reaper. Alright, so let's color spray the Fear Reaper. I'm close enough that I won't take the dot. Basically, you have to be melee range, right? Uh, so here's the dude that we're looking for. And I roared, he got stunned, and now he's dead. I have no heal scrolls, so I have to wand heal myself. Which, I don't know for the last fight if it's even going to work, because those guys do a lot of DPS. Ah, they gave me Orc Herpes again. I feel like I should be able to give them Dragon Pox. Right? I mean, I'm a Dragon Lord. Uh, do I have anything to cure the herpes? No. Fuck. Oh, okay, I made a save. Versus filth fever. They call it filth fever. We know what it is. It's orc herpes. PK. Be awesome if I could just PK them all. It does work if you make a, um, what's that, uh, Shardakai? Uh, any weapon that you have equipped, if you swing that chain that they get, you will do the, the base weapon effect on that chain. So you can, if you use this shadow weapon, the, the Feywild sword, with the PK effect, if you swing that chain around, it can PK everything around you. I've seen it happen. It's really cool. I already did my Shadokai lives, though, so otherwise I would do that. Right, I'd make a Shadokai uh, Dragon Lord and run around and chain everything. But that would be super strong for, for hardcore. Because that, that chain is like OP as hell anyway. It's lag. It's a nice bit of lag in here. Bro. Somebody wake up the server hamster. As the rusty door swings open, a cry issues from beyond it. Okay, this is the last fight, and this is probably going to be a massive disaster. I have no more cakes, so I've got to get it to at least where I can beat it on a gibber's blade. All right, so we're going to get fully healed. I'll trance. I'll hit all of my stuff just so I'm not surprised. And then we will bust out a surprise of our own. Okay, so there's my freedom of movement. There's my death ward. There's my trance. I've got my weapon. And now I'm also going to use this Hood of Unrest, which basically gives me a 50% dodge for 25 seconds, right? So we're going to pop it and then run in there and attack everything. Okay, here we go. And hopefully that extra dodge keeps that boss off of me while I burn down this trash. 
And hopefully it help, keeps me from getting tripped. Alright, so here's my... I've got to deal with these wargs because they'll trip me. Alright, so the wargs are dead. So now I only have the bosses left, so here's my haste boost. And we're going to try to take out this first one here. Alright, got the first one. I'm going to use a second wind, and we'll try to take out this dude here. He gave me more herpes. I don't know if you can really get more herpes, but he just gave me more herpes. But they were easy. Really easy. Right? That was like the easiest quest of my life. Let's go get this adventure pack. The adventure pack sounds so cool, and then you pick it up, and it's just a candle. If this were pen and paper, I would hope that the DM would get a little bit more creative than saying, yeah, you picked up the adventure pack, and it's a candle. I rested for the night here when I first arrived. I see the hobgoblins have fortified this area. And put it to good use. Apparently. I need to repair. I need to go buy scrolls. Right? Oh god. Am I level 20 yet? I'm like, it's so hard for me to play melee. I just want to get back to spell casting. Just selling all this junk. We're looking for slots, right, obviously. And that's a rare scroll, and that's a rare scroll, so we'll save that. I keep them in a... I do the same thing on Hardcore. I do it on this server, too. Like, Officer Chest 1 on the guild ship is all rare scrolls. So, I save them, just in case some, anybody needs them. So, if, you, if you're on Sarlona and you need a rare scroll, I probably have it. Just send me an email and a, or a mail in game, and I'll send it to you. I don't use them. I mean, I did my wizard lives already, so... Uh, let's see. So, I guess I did those two earlier, so I still have to do those. And I'm worried about Madstone, because I used to be able to solo Madstone really easily. But they changed something with the aggro mechanics, and now it's super difficult to do Madstone alone. I mean, we can try it. I'll save it to last, but it's just such a... A pain. So I'm going to go buy heal, heal scrolls from House K, the guild vendors. These are bound to me, but since I'm like stranger danger soloing all the time, right? Like I don't really care. It is good though if, if you are like doing group questing with people or, or if you're in a static to go buy them from like House P or House J where they're not bound just in case somebody in your group needs them, you can share them. Uh, because these you cannot share, but since I'm questing alone, I don't, it doesn't really matter. Like I'm not, nobody's going to ask me for these, so. And I'm just going to buy, since I go through so many of them, we're going to buy like 400. Because I'm like literally chucking heels like constantly. Right, so. Now I have four, 400 heal scrolls. And I probably should buy another critical one just to have it. Where are you going? Hunting for gold that is flowing Somewhere in the cold world Here there is no knowing Hey la, oh la 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 We love your fans Standing in stone, let's make camp We love games, let's make camp And play more games Hey la, oh la la We love games Let's stand in stone, let's make camp We love games Let's make camp and play more games Hey la, oh la la We love games where are you going? There's no knowing What magic awaits, what evil is growing Hey la, oh la la We love games There's a standing stone, let's make camp We love games 
whole la la hunt no crips is folly just play games and be jolly magical treasures hide in the dark so rest in it and bark we love games there's a standing stone let's make camp we love games let's make camp and play more games there's a standing stone let's make camp we love games let's make camp and play more games hey la oh la la we love games hey la merry la 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 la